I'm about to teach a year four maths lesson to set two or four, so a top middle ability group. We will be moving our learning on and applying um, short formal multiplication to um, word problems and missing number questions. My TA will start working with the lower ability children just to check they've got a solid understanding and will then move around the group working with individuals who need more structured support. Let's have a look. So let's talk me through this one as well. What have we done? Uh, five times one equals five. Lovely. Then five times three, which is 15. So I put the one. Good boy. And then I added, and then I done five there. Yeah. Decimal point. Super. And then I done five times two, which is 10. And then I added the one. So it's Fantastic. Seven. Would you like to model that on the board to everyone? Uh, yeah. Be the teacher. Super. You missing. Fantastic. Are you going to challenge yourself in the next one? Mm -hmm. Good boy, well done. Okay, I'm going to give you 30 seconds to finish the one you're on, and then Finley is going to come up and show us how he has used this method. The last thing before we get on to some tasks, Finley is going to model to us how he did it. If you want to take your whiteboard, that's fine. So everyone should be following along, watching what Finley's doing, and hopefully he'll be able to talk through what he did. Yep, yeah, I'll repeat it if we need a bit louder. So first I did. Good. How's he laying it out, Matthew? Thank you. Okay, can I stop you for one second? Can I just make sure that this looks like a three for everyone at the back? Yeah. Okay, carry on, madam. Oh, five times. One. Good boy. Yep. So can everyone see the first step he's done? Lovely steps aside for me. What's he done there? Vicky, what's he done there? I should be on the board. He's carried the number. Thank you, he carried, yep, yeah, carried his one. Times two, which is ten and then I added one. Lovely. Cross through it. Do you want to add one more thing before we say it's done? What, what unit? There we go. And we need our pound sign. Perfect. Is everyone feeling a bit happier with that? Okay, right. But who can remember what your AFL comment was from yesterday? Bobby, what was your AFL comment yesterday? What did you need to do? Um, so you wrote me three top tips on how to use this method. What I've done is while I was marking your books, I've compiled those top tips into a success criteria. So this is what you've written as a class, but I've used your AFL yesterday to do it. So the first thing we need to do was lay out our digits according to place value. Okay? Perfect. Then we need to start by multiplying the digits in the column furthest to the right, which is what we've been doing. You then said we need to carry any digits if necessary. Sometimes we don't need to. And then we needed to continue to multiply across our columns from right to left adding any carried numbers before finally using our units of measure. Can everyone see somewhere where their top tip's gone into that success criteria? Yeah? Fab. So as you've written it, I expect you to be following it today. Okay? And it is on this board here, so it is there constantly throughout this lesson. Okay? If I come round and you're not following it, that's the first thing I'll say. Go back and look at that before you ask. Okay? So, our can I, if we look here, was to apply stage six multiplication. Our first application we're going to look at is word problems. Okay, so, Mr Nicholas needs our help. Can you calculate how much the ice creams will cost for next year's Isle of Wight trip using our success criteria? So today, we need to help Mr Nicholas because it's quite a big task planning all of the money for the Isle of Wight trip. Can we help? Yeah. Oh, it didn't sound very enthusiastic. Can we help? Yes. Thank you. Who had a truck ice when we went? Who had a nice lolly? Okay, so you might see some of your favourites in this first task. You will have a sheet in front of you, three different ice creams, three different written methods. You then need to compare them to find the cheapest ice cream. When we're using word problems, what's the first thing we do, William? Read through it. Read through it, and then we do what, Jessie Berry? We find the key. Exactly, so read through it. Find your key information, then give it a go. So this table, you're working with Miss Bunnell.